Father, we are here to listen to you, Father. Bless your children to understand what you are, what you want, so that, Father, we can fulfill your purpose through our lives to glorify you, Father. Father, thank you. What you have done for last week even, Father. But thank you. What you will do in our lives through your word. Even, Father, thank you once again for your presence upon your people in this place. This is what we pray. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, everybody will say, Amen. Amen. You might be seated. Hey. Good, 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 good evening. How are you? Kumusta? Kumusta? I hope the pandemic will finish as soon as. Okay, today also we'll talk about series, Do You Love Me? Do You Love Me? And subtitle is, Take Off Your Sanders. When you hear, take off your sandals, usually uh, we could remember the Moses. Moses. Yes, Moses. I will not start how the Moses' life was, but simply, Moses. And he was in the wilderness to take care of his uh, the father-in-law's flax, then he saw what? The burning bush, the burning bush. Then he went to see how there is a fire, but the wood, the tree was not consumed. That's why he went to see what happened. That's why he come to nearer and closer, okay? Then God said, don't come any closer. God said, then take off your shoes. Try to think about, yes, you saw the, already the PowerPoint. What is the meaning of take off your sandals? Because God said it's holy ground, yeah, holy ground. Holy ground. It's so clean or... Anyway, holy ground. Then God gave him the order. Okay, you go. Send my people out. Then, as long as he met God, then God gave him order, bring my people from the Egypt. Then he said, I cannot go. As you know, as I, I know what I am, then who am I that should I go to Egypt? It is nature, actually. It is nature. When somebody gives you order, then you know that order is so important. Then you know your ability. That's why I cannot, I cannot. That's actually nature. It's not, I think, disobedience. Naturally, it, it will happen, right? For example, when I give you an assignment, oh, it's hard. Yes, then nature. But still confused. I refused. Then, as we know, the Moses said, I cannot speak well. I cannot speak well. How God convinced him, don't worry, I will be with you. I will be with you. So, then I will prepare someone who? Who prepared God? God prepared his brother, elder brother, Aaron. Okay. Then, still he said what? Pardon, 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 pardon. Sandali lagbo, sandali lagbo. I know what you will do. Then, please send someone else instead of me. I am not fit for that matter. I am not fit. But problem is, yes, naturally we can say, when I know who is he, what, 
when I know what is order, when I know myself, if I am not fit for that matter, then what, what we can say? Oh, yes, I know that is so important, but for my ability, I cannot. God tried to convince him, but still, he said, send me others. I cannot. Even though you said, I cannot. But God said what? Lord's angers burned against Moses. Meaning, you cannot trust me. You don't know me yet. You don't know me yet. As long as I give you order, I know who you are. I know you can do it. That's why I ask you to do. Then you will still try to escape. Even God called uh, Samson. Uh, no, 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 no. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Gidon. Gidon. Gidon said also, because all Israelites were destroyed by the enemies, right? then they were so afraid. After harvest, the enemy came and took it all. They have nothing to. That's why sometimes they hide to harvest. When they harvest, hide so that the enemies will not take. Then God called him, you are what? Mighty warrior. Gidon is so afraid. Yet God told him, you are mighty warrior. What? Just like that. We are very weak family. Actually, when God gave us order, even what God gave us order, fulfill my purpose, my plan, right? But usually what we say, I cannot. It's so, so hard. That's a natural way. Wait. But still, what do we have to do? Actually, I try to connect this one with the repentance. Repentance. We already studied what is repentance here. But as long as you meet God, just like Moses, what will happen to you? This one will come to here, right? The knowledge now. You know who is he, you know who you are. Then you have to know what you have to do, right? You cannot say no, right? Just like the case of Moses. So try to check our lives or our faith. Really, we repented? Then still we will not disobey him? Uh, we will not obey him? We will disobey him? I think it's impossible. Firstly, just like Moses, oh, I know what I am. Just like a Gideon, we are the smallest. But still, there is struggling inside, right? Struggling. I know who is he. He knows me. Then he give me order. Then what I have to do? That's why repentance, we know, change your mind and purpose, right? Then, this one, take off your shoes. Meaning, in that moment, Moses saw God, not the God himself exactly, but burning bush. He heard the voice, right? He saw, actually, who is God. Then, that is what we call it repentance. What we studied is knowledge. When we meet God, what will happen to us? That's what we study in knowledge. Everything will be changed, right? It's actually totally up, up and, uh, upside down. Everything, we cannot say any, any word to God. That's what, take up your sandals. Meaning, you will be servant. Sender is the one who has personality. I mean, master, the family, master of family, they will wear. Servant has no senders. That's the also meaning. So, Kaset is holy ground, that's why you take off your senders, meaning you must be my servant. Other word, you must be slave, same word, slave. Meaning, you will deny yourself. 
You must obey what you met the person. Meaning, other words, you sign on it. You know other party and you know your party, okay? You sign on it. Then you deny yourself. After that, nothing was changed to the Moses. Moses, later on we'll study. What he did, very simple task he did. When we saw his life, it seems it's so great. But what he did is very simple. Very, very simple. Okay? So take up your sandals, meaning what? What? Become servant. Other word, slave. Other word, deny yourself. So when we repented, right? Have to know. We are slaves. Just as Joseph. Joseph has his own personality, knowledge, whatever. Everything belongs to his master. He cannot do his by his own anything. Okay? Then, repent is by facing God, actually. So knowledge, I told you already, knowledge must come to the reality. Reality. When someone will say hard, yes, but in his mind have to say hard, but come to God, when he stood in front of God, they cannot say it's hard. Why? As long as Moses said what? Pardon, pardon God. Oh, I know now. I don't know your name yet, but I know who you are. But pardon, send someone, others, some others. Meaning, I cannot, it's hard. What he'll say? As scripture says, what? God's burn, the anger, God's anger burn for that person. Other words, simply, as our lives, you sign on it, yet you didn't follow the sign, the contract. Nothing will happen. Contract is already useless. In our salvation, same. Then, Yes, we have struggling. What we have to do, what I cannot do. That's what we have to overcome it. If we will say it's hard, then we'll say only hard, then we will put that hardship to aside. That's nothing. That's not actually repent. Struggling, then. That's why. Even the, when the Apostle Paul wrote the Romans, he already knew not the starting. Just like Moses, oh, I cannot speak well. Nothing. He already matured. Then he confessed that the Romans. That's why don't say, don't speak out, it's hard but only keep it, that hardship, then you have to overcome it. Okay? And anyway, after that, okay, then Moses come to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, 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 Pharaoh. Okay? Then, that's usually we say, let my people go. I didn't, I don't think he said, let my people, no, he said, let my people go. Maybe simply. So, he stood in front of officials and Pharaoh, Pharaoh, then Pharaoh, then say, this is the Ten Commandments movie. I think that was, I think, 1954, before my, I was born, that what movie was made. Anyway, maybe you don't know the, 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 the Moses, the Charlton Heston. Anyway, he said, let my people go. So what? Uh, Pharaoh said, no, I cannot. That's why what he, Pharaoh did, all the time refused, but God performed what? Ten plague. Template. So, I will test you. What is first play? play? Second, third. Anyway, this symbol, 
all God destroyed is the, what they worship. The river, that also, they're one of God. Because it, river will produce all crops, crops, food. That's why they worship. Even the frog is also the one of the God. It's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, produce more the, 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 the people. When the, the frog lays eggs too much, right? That's why. Anyway, the uh, darkness also, all, they are actually afraid. Then lastly, the life is God, the, the Pharaoh himself said, also God also, what, he is the one of God. That's why last week when we talk about the Joseph, when Joseph stood in front of Pharaoh, my God will interpret your dream. That is not easy to say. Anyway, so after that, God talked to the Moses, what? You will not go with empty hand. So you will, your people will actually take, okay? Take, dispose, take to, our, to the people, that Egyptian, then you will ask what? Your neighbor or the woman who stay there, then for what? Silver and gold jewelry and cloth for your sons and daughters. Why is it so important to know? Actually, when they go to the wilderness, okay, then actually they need something to eat. Anyway, God is the one who will provide. When God wants to build his temple, even Moses went up to the mount, mountain. Then the Aaron asked, asked his people to bring the silver and gold, gold actually. Then people give it to him. Meaning all that they have, they have is from Egyptians freely. Why? God is the one who gave them favor. Actually, people will go with empty hand. They don't have. But God is the one who made this situation. That's why people understood, ah, God is the one let us have our own. Meaning ownership still. It is connected with the tithes. Not only life. Even when they experience the last uh, uh, the place, the, the, the life, the firstborn was dead. They already experienced. They are the one put the, the blood of lamb on the domjo, a door jam. Then the angels of death would pass by. That's why that is so important. They got the silver and jewelry and cloth. Okay? Then they moved to the journey. Then lastly, they uh, stood in front of the Red Sea. Okay? They stood in front of Red Sea. Okay? Mm. Ah, Sandalem. What, what, usually, what some movies they said, Moses lifted up his staff, then struck the river, and there, the, the word is exactly saying what? Lifted up his staff, and to our to the river. Anyway, the movie is different anyway. So that's what actually shortly we could say what Moses did. So what Moses did, simply, his task was so difficult or so easy. What? What? From the take of your shoes, Sanders, then, up to that moment, anyway, we have uh, some more stories in numbers even still. So what Moses did is simply, God told him what to do, then he go to the Parao, then say, then whatever Parao will talk to him, then talk to God, 
Oh, Pharaoh said so. Then God gave him order, go to the Pharaoh, then go back to the God. What he did? Just servant. He didn't do anything. You go, go. Okay? You repeat up your staff? He did. Then what? That servant, whatever God asked him to do, didn't say anything. He did. Then everything was happened. The servant said. Okay? But numbers, as we know, we studied that verse already when we studied Mik. Okay? Mik. Uh, eight blessings in chapter Matthew chapter 5. Mik. So Moses is more humble. More humble. So today we will talk about the servantship again with connection with humble. Okay, humble. Anyway, who knows the meaning still? What is the meaning of humble or meek? Any idea? Any idea? Upstairs. Upstairs, no. Any idea what is the meaning of humble and meek? Okay, anyway, then, usually humble is lay down uh, their positions or whatever. That's what we, anyway, humble, we'll start anyway. But actually, Numbers uh, chapter 27 up to the 12, what actually Moses did, disobeyed God, disobeyed God. So in the wilderness, People were so thirsty. That's why they asked Moses, give us water. So God gave him order, what? 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 Verse 8, speak to the rock. Speak to the rock. Maybe, oh, you rock, pro provide the water. Maybe that one. But what he did? Actually, Moses angered with his people. Why you bother me all the time? Anyway, 11, he struck the rock with his staff two times, twice. Then, anyway, water came out anyway, whatever. That's why Moses cannot enter his promised land. Question. We'll not talk about that matter, anyway. Moses obeyed God. 99%, but he disobeyed one. That's why he was rejected coming to the promised land. Why? Why? So, you might give me the answer, why? I already explained. Okay, we will study humble, okay, humble. Matthew chapter, uh, 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 five, we studied humble, but when we tackle this matter, same numbers, 12, 3, right? Same. Aaron took the Kushit woman, black woman, married. That's why he, his brother and sister against him. Then God spoke to him, spoke to them, then Moses is more humble than anyone on the earth. He's most humble man. The humble. Humble. Okay? Actually, in our understanding of humble, he's not, actually. What he did? He did what? Killed Egyptians. He's not humble. Also one, he broke what? Two tablets of Ten Commandments from the mountain. He come down, he saw his people, he worshiped idol, then he threw it away. It's not the attitude of humble man. But God said, he is so humble. Still. That's why God told to Moses, you cannot enter the promised land. Okay, humble. Okay, what is humble? Meek. Anav. Okay, other one. Anaha. 
the root word ana is same as you see ana humble make is same same that's why number chapter 12 verse 3 the one is meek, one is NIV is interpreted the humble, but King James version is meek. So you could see what is meaning humble. Be depressed, downcast, humble. Okay, meek is poor in weak, oppressed by rich and powerful. So God is the one. Give him order. He cannot do anything. It's solvent, actually. That's why, what? Depressed, be depressed. Then what? Downcast, lost everything. So that is actually humble. So take up your shoes, meaning you will be servant or slave, then you must be humble. That's why Moses understood it. Then whatever God gave him order, go, go, when? Do, do. But lastly, he didn't disobey God. What? Speak to the rock, then what? He strike the, the rock two times. Then anyway, I could say, Moses, John chapter 1 explains, Moses is symbol of the law. That's why law cannot be saved by law itself. That's why Moses is symbol. But grace was uh, symbol, symbol of grace is Jesus. Okay? That's why Moses cannot submit to God 100%. By law, we cannot uh, satisfy God's order. Okay? That's simple. So, assignment, you go home, then read chap John chapter 1. Then you could find out. The Moses, uh, law was given by Moses. Okay? Meaning, Moses is symbol of law. That's why once he mistake. That's why he cannot be saved. He cannot go to his promised land. Anyway, we will not talk about that matter. Today is what? Topic, topic is? Title is, do you love me? Love is connected with servantship. This or obedience also. That's why connected. Then, this one. Okay, take up your shoes. It's connected actually, right? Then, now you could understand. That is meaning, whatever I will give you order, you have to submit to me. Take up your shoes, sandals, okay? So, and then it's connected also, obedience also, right? So servant was so depressed by the master, right? Then it's meek. Just follow the order. You cannot do anything by your own. You cannot do your own things even. Okay. Okay. When we think about the senders, there is another story in the prodigal son. Okay. Prodigal son, as we know the story. He got his portion from father. He went away. He spent it with bad person. Okay. Anyway, he come back to father. Okay. He didn't have any sandals, no shoes, meaning slave. Okay. Slave. That's why he also knew, I am not worthy to be called your son anymore. Just treat me as one of your servants. Right. Right. Then. What God, father talk to him? Talk to the, his servant. Bring what? Everything. Best robe and ring and what? Sanders. Let him put sanders. Meaning what? Restoring his position from the slave to the, the child of master. Other one. Oh, sorry. Other one. Jesus himself. Because Jesus, when come onto the earth, he considered himself as servant. That's why he said, not by my will. As we understood, in Trinity, position is same. 
same, equal. Then he's the one lay down his position, equality. Then he become servant. Anyway, we see. So that's why when God asked him to do, then Jesus knew what will happen to him. That's why he prayed three times. What? If you can transfer my cup, right? Please. Then what he finally he said, what? Not by my will, but your will. Other one. That's what we studied last week also. The life of Peter. God, Jesus talked to him, asked him actually, do you love me? Do you love me? And then Peter answered him, I love you. So Jesus gave him order, feed my lamb or take up my lambs. Then follow me. Yes. Why? Because also, as long as Peter confessed to Jesus, I love you then, okay, you are now take up your sandals, meaning you become my servant, okay? You already perfect the servant, then you will die for the others. As I ask you to do, you feed my lamb, meaning you will lay down your life. That's the meaning. Are you with me? Okay, thank you. So we'll see the, how Jesus was become a servant of God. Okay? And in verse 5, you must have this attitude. Okay? We read uh, verse uh, 5 long. Okay, go. Have this mind among yourself, which is your, yourself is in Christ Jesus. This mind, what kind of mind? Below, six, seven, and eight. What? He didn't consider himself as equality with God. Then he became servant, right? There is, okay? Verse seven. He implied, emptied himself by taking the, taking the form of the servant, okay? So meaning, he became servant, servant. That is really, really beautiful story. For example, among your class, for example, same position, same, then the teacher or professor will ask you to do one task, it's very uh, hard for the teacher, okay, or professor, then one of you will say, I'm the one. Because maybe professor is so handsome, okay, still single, then the girls in the class is, uh, loved him so much, then one of the most loved him, then is the one, voluntarily. Uh, it's not the exact uh, explanation about the situation. They know how Trinity God loves the human then one of them must die for them. The Jesus is the one voluntarily, willingly. I'm the one who will go. Then I will die on the cross. It's actually, that is topic for my message today. I cannot explain well, but how is so lovely. Same. Position, high. Then he's the one, lay down. Then as we know, when he died on the cross, he said what? Why, Father, you abandoned me, forsake me. Anyway, is he knew what will happen to him. Yet still he said, I'm the one. Then he came. Also, that is the will of God, right? So connection, this servant. We must be servant for the others. We must lay down our lives for the others. Same. OK. This is what started last week also.
connections. John 3.16. Then 1 John chapter 3.16 also. How God loved the whole world. Then, meaning he gave his son to die on the cross. Right? That's why 1 John chapter 3.16 lay down his life for us. Then also urge us to do the same thing. Lay down. Also we saw John chapter 21. The life of Peter. And when we studied, right? Then. Also, same, we love one another. Okay? Connections. That's what we studied last week. Then Genesis. Also, take up shoes. The submission, full submission to God. As what Moses did. Then connection. Then also, this is also, take up your shoes. Go and make disciples. What is the meaning of make disciples? Whatever you were trained in the church, just like your DT group, then you will do again? Okay? Yes, you must do it. But that's not all, actually. Lay down your life. You are spending your life for them. Then you have to make them also, just like you, as you are perfect, right? That's actually, so going, go is first order, yet still lay down our lives. So as long as you meet God, then we cannot escape, we cannot run away from that one. Moses cannot argue with him anymore. So yeah, several times he said, pardon me, send others, but that is end actually. Yes. Firstly, when we become Christian, oh, what God asks us to do is so hard, hard. I cannot, I cannot. But later on, we must say yes. Finally, what we will say? Voluntarily, just like a, uh, a life of Isaiah. By Isaiah chapter 6. Still remember? Whom will I send? He said, here am I. I am here. Voluntarily. God didn't point it the Isaiah. But when he heard the conversation of three gods, then he said, I'm here, send me. So voluntarily. Even Jesus Christ, yes, he prayed. But for, finally, even life of Mo Moses, uh, no, no, sorry, the, the, the Paul, Apostle Paul, even. Even what we know about the 12 disciples, including Stephen, they didn't die normally. They were persecuted. Then finally, they lied down their life for others. So, go to, then, question still, did you take off your shoes, sandals? It doesn't matter, doesn't mean from now on you will not use your sandals. No, it's dangerous. You have to wear your shoes. When we heard the word, the servant or slave, actually, our feeling is not good. Nobody wants to be, right? If you will ask your partner, whatever, in, in your family, whatever, will you be my servant? Who will say yes? Nobody wants to. Why? Because our understanding in the world, actually, servant is lowest, the lowest position. Right? This is story, okay? Mother brought two sons, okay? Okay? Zebedi, 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 two sons. And then talk to the Jesus, talk to Jesus. Put one my son, seed, your right side. Other one is your left side in your kingdom. Okay? So that's actually the heart of parents. Okay, why not? But Jesus answered in a different way, different direction. 
Okay? This is actually pressure. Okay? You don't know what you are asking me now. The mother of Sabbath, they don't know what they are talking about. And then what he said? Asking, are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? Where ago we started? Jesus prayed in Gethsemane, can you bring this cup away? Help come meaning you will what? What they answered? They don't know what is the meaning of drink cup. They said what? Yes, yes, surely, surely, why not? Why not? As long as you don't catch up the meaning, your answer will be so easy. Because you don't know what is so hard that they even say. But Jesus said what? You will surely, surely drink my cup. As what Moses did. We have to drink the cup same. If we we'll talk about without cup, drinking cup, in our salvation, our salvation is wrong. Wrong. That's why you will drink cup. Okay? Yeah. What is the meaning of drink cup? Can you? Can you die just like I do? Right? You got it? That's the meaning. I will drink up, meaning I will be crucified. You will? They said what? Yes, yes. Then, that's actually, when you meet God, when you what is, know what is salvation, then you must say, yes, yes. Whatever is hard or not, whatever. Then, there is comparing, correction of their understandings. Even 12 disciples, even mother, they do not understand what kind of system in the kingdom. In the Gentiles, what the Bible says? Only rulers will sit at the top. Okay? They exercise what? Their authorities. They are ruling over the high positions. The lowest is, as we know, the servant. Okay? Are you with me? Okay, it's simple. So, this is diagram. Okay? Lower position, even the economy, they are poor. Let's see. In the Philippines, less than 5% people uh, possessed the properties in, Canada, in the economy. Actually, the Africa, some, only 0.5%. 0.5% is the one have their properties. And uh, anyway, the Gentiles, the, the one who become higher, higher, and they are the one exercise. They will rule over the servant. But kingdom, what? If you want to be greater, what? You must be servant. Servant is not only what is, we, they have no ability, then they will do very dirty job, whatever, it's not. In the servant, what Bible explains us, you must be matured. Then you will be called servant and you will be great. Then you will lay down. You are qualified to lay down your life. You are qualified to make another you. Okay? Let's make disciple. So, as what? Verse 28, we read, they said, Go, even as Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life as 
uh, ransom for many. Jesus himself, servant. He was called servant, but actually, what we are thinking about servant is not. He was matured, okay? He has ability to produce same quality of him. This is diagram in the kingdom, opposite. And what servant Jesus will do? Give his life for the others. Let me tell you one very funny story. One girl was in the church. It's, it's a, a, a very small church. Pastor all the time give her everything. That's why the girl thought, okay, now I'm servant. Whatever pastor asked me to do, I will do. But in heaven, I will be greater. Then I will give my order to the pastor. What? To pay. Then he, she understood, oops, in God's heaven, it's actually, that's actually servant. We need to change our concept even. So, so our, this is story. Okay? As we know, after dinner, Jesus stood up, then he wasted the towel in his, uh, his uh, towel in his waist, then he started to wash the feet of his disciples, right? Then, verse 8, you shall never wash my feet alone. Because they understood only servant will wash the master's feet. But they know Jesus is master. That's why Peter said, you cannot. You are master. What Jesus said, you know, as you know, I'm master. Then what I'm doing, make you example, okay? Okay, Jesus started wash the feet of disciples. We'll close up verse 13 to 15, okay? It is one. You also ought to wash one another's feet. I wash, I'm a servant, no, I'm master, yet I took my position as servant, that's why I wash your. That's why I show you example, then you must do same example to the others, okay? That's why you also ought to wash one another's feet. What does it mean? Connection. Is it similar? You love one another. What does it mean? Wash your feet. What is meaning? I will also serve you, meaning I will die for you. Are you with me? Are you with me? Then, that's what we studied. Same. That's why what we do, yes, we did in the youth camp. Actually, when you wash others' feet, meaning I'm ready to lay down my life for you. That's the meaning. But usually they cry, knowing nothing about the reality, right? But what Jesus did, John chapter 13 is, I will lay down my life to you as master, yet I became servant, right? That's the meaning. So, this is last, do you love me, question. And take off your sandals. What is the meaning? Also repent. Other meaning? Become servant, right? Then, when you become servant, what? Meek and humble, same. What is the meaning of meek? So depressed, and cast out, and so painful. So painful. It's full obedience. Then what do we do? Wash one another. Fit. Also, other warning, love one another same. Love your another, meaning lay down 
your life. Okay? This is the message. Still, we call it perfect love. As long as you lay down your life, as Jesus did, we call it perfect, perfect love. That's what. Anyway, servant is so beautiful name. But that's why servant name will come after the master. Master. In the world, the servant is the lowest, right? But in the kingdom, what we believe, that's why you must be servant. Also, when we are servant of God, it's not dishonorable. It's so, so honorable, actually. So beautiful name. I am servant of God. Do you know whom you serve? How God made you servant? How he poured out his love upon you? Then how let you experience his love? Then, willingly, as Jesus willingly, he took the position of servant, also we will take that identity servant. Then finally, we will follow the step of Jesus. That's what God asks us. That's why God asks us, do you love me still? Okay. Father, we thank you for your word. We had very bad understanding of servant. But now we understood Jesus himself became servant. Also, we must be servant for others. Father, still you ask us to love me. Father, bless us to, us to say, yes, we love you perfectly. Then, Father, you will be done through our lives. Bless your people in this place more and more so that they will be happier. Then they will be happier even to serve you. Thank you once again for your goodness and your word. This is what we pray in the name of your son, Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Amen.